This is the Astronaut Encounter, and what better place to learn about what it's like in space than from what the name implies, the Astronaut Encounter, where you get to spend some time with a real live astronaut, somebody who was in space. And so joining us today, Bob Springer. And Bob, how are you? Just great, John. How are you doing? This good, good, good. Uh, you flew twice. Mm -hmm. Once on Discovery, once on Atlantis. Once on Discovery, once on Atlantis. Um, that must be the first question you get from people, right? Like, how was it? Was it cool? Oh, absolutely. And, and uh, part of the fun is describing all the things that you don't normally read about in the NASA releases, uh, the emotional part of it, uh, the stories behind the stories. And uh, that's a little bit of what we try and do here with Astronaut Encounter. And I guess from the people that come here, the kids must just be really wide-eyed when they go, wow, a real astronaut. Oh, absolutely so. And, and, uh, and you know, one of the things we're trying to do through all this, it, it's an educational process on top of everything else. We're, we are really trying to inspire that next group of, uh, not necessarily astronauts, but uh, scientists, engineers, explorers, and perhaps astronauts, uh, but it's fun. And I've always wanted to know this. What's like the weirdest questions you get? The strangest stuff you get. Well, there, there have been a, uh, a few that uh, really make you think about it. the standard ones, of course. Uh, they, how do you go to the bathroom in space? <laughs> uh, the the thought-provoking ones are are the and the ones that I really like, particularly when they come from a youngster. Are how did you feel when this happened? When that happened? And, and the, they're actually looking for some uh, personal aspect of it. And and those are the those are the most challenging questions as well. I imagine it's usually a pretty good crowd when you know they know there's an astronaut to come and see and spend some time with. Um, you interact with them as well? You, I mean, is there a lot of interaction? That's what we try and encourage. Uh, I usually start off my presentation by saying, you know, we're going to have a period for questions and answers. And I said, if you're bold enough to ask, I'm bold enough to ask and answer. So anything's fair. And, and, and that's, they like that. And uh, that helps to break the ice a little bit and to get them more involved uh, with the process, which is what this is all about. Do they always want to hear about your space flights and what your experiences were? Oh, absolutely so, and, and that's uh, the key to it. And, and one of the things, you know, there are a number of us who come here and, right. and do this uh, in conjunction with uh, the center here. And each of us brings a slightly different story. So people can come back and hear, you know, depending on who's here on any given week, uh, slightly different versions. I mean, there's some consistency, of course, but the, again, the personal side of it. That's, that's what everybody really wants to hear, uh, and that, that's what makes it uh, challenging. And quite honestly, uh, for those who do this as well, it's, it's a challenging part to be able to tell a little bit more of the personal side of it. So is that when, when if you were to ask, if I was to ask you, so why should you come and see this show? What would you tell people? What would you tell me? To learn a little bit more of behind the scenes what's going on. Uh, there's more to it than just the excitement of the launch and, and uh, the, the kinds of things we do from the science and engineering standpoint. Uh, it's a very, very human thing. Not, and not only for those of us who had a chance to fly, and this is something I, I also try and focus on, is that everybody who worked on the program, the thousands of people who supported the program, have their own personal investment in it. And I usually try to bring that out so that you understand that it, it's more than just that select few of us who had the honor of being able to fly aboard the shuttle, uh, but really everybody who has the personal investment. And you see that, ask anybody who ever worked here, I worked at the Cape, and that's all you need to know. You have fun doing this? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's always a challenge. Uh, and because on top of everything else, we get a pretty good number of international visitors. And they sometimes ask different questions. Their orientation may be just a little different. Uh, and it's, it's, it's challenging sometimes, but fun uh, to be able to delve into that in a little different context than you might with a group of school, ch school children. You know, I've always heard that the, the international visitors, when they come here, they, their relationship to the space program is different from, you know, those of us that were born and raised in the United States. It's almost like, you know, for us, it's like, ah, oh, it's ho-hum, we expect it, but it's, it's a different experience for the international visitor. Well, it really is, and one of the things I, I find is they take a little bit more philosophical approach to things, and sometimes, particularly with a, there's a, an element of people who have not been as close to the program as you and I have right. been living in this area, uh, and understand some of the benefits and all that. Uh, but the Europeans tend to go ahead and go like, yes, you know, it's just something we need to do. It, it's in the human psyche, something that needs to be pursued. And they seem to get that better than the average American, quite honestly. Now, there's a little something else folks can do when they're out here as well. They can actually have lunch with you, right? If, uh, I mean, it, that happens. I mean, there's a little lunch with the astronaut. 
Um, that's got to be fun. Well, it is, uh, because that gives you a little bit more free play. Here, we're a little bit constrained on time and, uh, and the facility that we have. Uh, during the lunch, again, it's uh, a little bit more of a personal uh, approach to it. Uh, we can actually sit down, talk to people. I usually try and get around. Now, the days that we have 300 people at lunch, it's a little <laughs> tough to shake everybody's hand. But uh, other than that, uh, try and get around and, uh, and again, make it a, a personal association uh, because that's what people really want to see. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We do appreciate it and uh, good luck with the show today. Well, John, thank you so very much. It's always a pleasure to, uh, to be able to share our experiences. Thanks.